Sagittarius. Welcome to December 2014. This is a big month for you. Happy birthday. And you have a fabulous Gemini full moon with the sun in Sagittarius. Mercury, the messenger, is in Sagittarius. Venus, the goddess of love, is in Sagittarius. And they're forming a grand fire trine with Jupiter in Leo and Uranus in Aries. Now it's loose, but it's on, and this is very good for you. This is very optimistic and hopeful and positive and uplifting. And any planets that you have in Sagittarius are in harmony with Uranus, the Awakener, the planet of unpredictability, anything that happens to us out of the blue, Uranus is involved. And Jupiter, expansion, opportunity, your ruling planet in the sign of Leo, leadership, creativity, fun, children, play. And that's all in harmony with Sagittarius. So that's really exciting. Now, the moon is in Gemini at the Gemini full moon on the 6th. And Chiron, which acts like a planet in our astrology, he is an asteroid between Saturn the past and Uranus the future. In fact, Chiron looks like uh, your, your symbol, you know, the, the, the half man, half animal shooting the arrow, a centaur. That's, that's Chiron. Chiron is a centaur. And so, Chiron is squaring Mercury at the time of the Gemini full moon. So normally, if there is such a thing, it's a very party, festive time of the year. It's the holidays, the sun is in Sagittarius, party sign, moon is in Gemini, party sign, people want to party, party. And that's great, that's on, Uranus is supporting that, Jupiter's loving on that, Chiron is squaring the moon and the sun, and Chiron is squaring Mercury. So be aware that truth-telling isn't always your best strategy, because your words can he hurt at this time, and we want our words to heal. So you may even find that you're extra sensitive at this full moon, and that's the Chiron effect. Chiron is uh, bringing up sensitivities, spirituality, and when it squares the Mercury, it squares the Sun, it squares the Moon, it's also squaring Saturn too. Um, Saturn's very late, we'll talk about that, uh, at 28 degrees Scorpio. So there's a lot of sensitivity here, and you can feel that. You can feel you're extra sensitive. That's okay. And, you know, so you know, if you're at the party and, you know, you, you're drinking and you're celebrating, you know, just remember it's not the time to be, <laughs> to tell everyone the truth. It, it is, uh, unless it's going to help, unless it's going to heal. I believe in constructive advice, but people have to ask us for that advice. I do not believe in constructive criticism. That's an oxymoron. There's no such thing as constructive criticism. Criticism is never helpful. And... Uh, yes, you're, you like to tell the truth. However, diplomacy will go a long way at this full moon because everyone's guard's going to be down because it's going to be incredibly festive, fun, party time, and then something can be said that is very painful. And so just be aware of that, that, you know, I'm going to go, I'm going to celebrate, I'm going to have a good time, and I'm not going to... Uh, be direct unless, you know, I mean, unless you need to. But just be aware that words can hurt. Words can heal. It's just dep it just depends on how we use them and how we use our energy. Are we using our energy and words to empower and strengthen others or are we using them to shoot that arrow and, you know, so, so something to think about. Now, this is an action-packed month. Pluto and Uranus are making their almost last square. It's the sixth out of seven. 
the final one will be on, well, well this one is on December 14th and 15th, and the final one will be on March 16th and 17th, just depending on where you live on the planet. For you, Uranus is in harmony with you, so it really isn't Uranus and Pluto giving you trouble. Now, unless you have planets in Capricorn, or Libra, or Cancer, or Aries, you could have planets there that Pluto and Uranus are uh, challenging. That's why it's very good to know your natal astrology. You can get a free chart at my website. It's just a chart. It's not a report. Or you can get the Astro Talk report, which is one of the best reports ever written, and it can give you detailed information into your birth chart. There's nothing more important to know than your natal chart because it is the key to your success in life, because it gives you your timing, it gives you the energy you've come to work with, the lessons you've come to master, it gives you insight and understanding into who you uniquely are and what you're experiencing at this time in your life. Now, I know some of you have been having a really challenging time right now. You know, Saturn's been in Scorpio since October 5th, 2012. That's 12 signs from you. So whether you have a, a Sagittarius Ascendant, Sagittarius Moon, or a Sagittarius Sun, when Saturn is 12 signs from you, it is where you are completing a 30-year th cycle. So some of you are, are getting ready for your Saturn return in Sagittarius. Some of you are getting ready for Saturn to enter Sagittarius and conjunct all your Sagittarius planets. Some of you are getting ready for Saturn to leave your 12th house. Hallelujah. And it's really great to have Saturn out of the 12th because when Saturn's in the 12th, the 12th house, and we all have a 12th house, is, is where we sabotage ourselves. It's how we get in our own way. And we've been doing this for lifetimes. You know, it's our insecurities. We all have insecurities. It's those past life records of, of betrayal and hurt and pain. And so when Saturn's going through there, you're reliving it. It's bringing it up. How you get in your own way or how you may sabotage your own success. So having Saturn leave that area will be a great relief. So having Saturn go into Sagittarius is really big. And you're feeling it. You know, you're really feeling like something powerful is about to happen, and it is. Now, Pluto and Uranus are squaring, I'll come back to Saturn, Pluto and Uranus are squaring on the 14th and 15th, and the challenge is they're really challenging. They're harder than Saturn any day. Is Yeah, because see, Saturn is tough, right? Saturn is definitely tough. But you can get away with things with Saturn. Pluto and Uranus, you can't. It's like... They'll just squash you to the ground. And you're just like laying there, you know. And, and so for you, it's not as bad with the Pluto Uranus because Uranus is in harmony with you. Uranus is training you. So you're not experiencing the Pluto Uranus like the cardinal signs are, the Aries, Libra, Cancer, Capricorn. The challenge is, is this energy is going to be on for the next four months. This Pluto Uranus energy is going to be on in December and January and February and March and really until we get to Taurus because the faster moving planets keep kicking these two back into gear. So, for instance, as you go into December, the Aries moon is conjunct Uranus square Pluto. Now, it is trining the Sagittarius sun and the Mercury in Sagittarius. So, again, you can do really well in this energy. Mars enters Aquarius on the 4th. This is fantastic. Mars was kicking those two off in November. Now Mars is in Aquarius, and Aquarius sextiles you. So you're going to be enjoying uh, short-distance travel, uh, networking, partying, going to parties, going out, you know, being in the community, social networking on the media, the, the Internet as well. It's a fun time for you. But as the faster moving planets jump into Capricorn, they keep Pluto and Uranus going. So first the moon is doing it, and then Venus enters Capricorn on the 10th. 
Venus conjuncts Pluto on the 20th and squares Uranus. And Mercury enters Capricorn on the 16th and will conjunct Pluto and square Uranus. So you see these two just keep going and going and going <laughs> like that ever ready um, bunny in the commercial. You know, just goes, goes, goes. And that's because the faster moving planets keep kicking these two off, bringing up more issues, bringing up more power struggles, bringing up more breakdown to breakthrough. And so it's going to be intense and it's not going to let up, like I said, really until the planets shift into Taurus because when the sun goes into Aries, which I love, it's going to kick these two up. So, so it's on. And for you, it's about your resources. Pluto is in, that, in Capricorn. Capricorn sits next to you. Capricorn rules your talents, gifts, and abilities, your self-worth, your self-respect, your self-appreciation, your inner resources, your outer resources. So you've got a big focus going in here. In December, as the planets move out of Sagittarius into Capricorn, in this money house, this is your money house, your self-worth, what you love and value, anything you put the word my in front of, my dog, my car, my astrology. So it's a very personal house, like the first house, and Pluto is there squaring Uranus. So there can be some challenges to uh, your romantic relationships, your creativity, or your children. And, you know, like I said, the, the Capricorn keeps coming through and, you know, first Venus comes through and activates it, then Mercury comes through. So it, it just keeps going. And for you personally, it's in harmony with you. Okay. Pluto, Capricorn is not uh, affecting your Sagittarius planets. Uranus is trining your Sagittarius planets. Jupiter is trining your Sagittarius planets. So you have so much going for you and so much to be excited about. Now, some of you have emailed me and, you know, you, you've been concerned like, oh, Saturn's coming into my sign. Whoa. You know, Saturn can really empower you to get on the fast track to success. And whenever we're afraid, we're always in the future. We're what ifing. Well, what if? Well, what if? All power is here in the now. The past is history. The future is a mystery. The gift is the present. I couldn't resist saying that. <laughs> okay. So anyway, so the point is, is that if you're having fear and anxiety, you're what ifing yourself. You're out in the future. You have no power in the future. It hasn't happened. Your power is in the now. And so are your juicy good moments. When you have a, a really happy moment, when you're feeling connected, when you're feeling just at peace or joy or laughter, that's in the now. Stay here now. Don't go back to the past. You know, it, it, that's gone. There's nothing back there. Just memories. Don't go to the future. It's not here yet. Stay here now. Your power is in the now. Your power is in the choices you're making now. Now, if you're experiencing breakdown or you're in the void, and I talk about this at my website, if you go to Brilliant Breakthroughs, you can read about the whole process of breakdown and breakthrough and being in the void. The void is where you try to make changes and nothing happens. And a lot of people are experiencing that right now because the Pluto Uranus is like a, a car wreck or a train wreck. You've been in a car wreck and you're acting like you haven't. And you're acting like everything's the same. That's what I call comatose. <laughs> so you're unconscious. How do you know you're doing that? Nothing's changing. Nothing's happening. You feel like a ghost. Or you feel like whatever you do try to change something, it doesn't work. That's when you know you may need a coach. Right? Someone to come in and give you strategies. Someone to come in and give you a fresh look at what you're doing and give you the truth, give you the insight, give you the understanding and feedback as to how's it working for you. Because, you know, as Einstein said, a problem can't be solved at the same level of consciousness it was created. So that means you need to go to a higher level of consciousness and you can do that with a coach or get some books. Uh, a fabulous Scorpio coaching client of mine sent me a book called Step Up 
and taking responsibility for your life changes everything. And it's really true. It's all about stepping up. When you step up and you take responsibility, you can change. But if you're not taking responsibility, if you're blaming this person and you're complaining about this person and you're complaining about that and you're blaming this, you're blaming that, you're not taking responsibility. You can't change anything. But if you want to see change in your life, then step up, take action, or hire a coach so that, that someone can come in and give, hire a career coach. If you're not getting where you want to go, hire a career coach so that you have this feedback from someone who's objective. Coaches, our only goal is to champion your success. We are not family. We are not attached to your outcome. We're not attached to your changes. If you change, awesome. We want you to change. Oftentimes, family members don't want you to change because that means they have to change. And so hiring a coach can give you the insight and understanding you need to make the changes you need to make. So you want to get ready for Saturn because Saturn is going to groom you for the next few years. But first, <laughs> and now a commercial from our Capricorn. <laughs> okay, so we got the Pluto Uranus square. We talked about that. For you, it's about how you're using your talents and abilities to get what you want. How are you using your resources, your energy, your heart, your soul, your time, your money to make the life you want? Uranus is saying, look at your relationships. Are they giving you what you want? Are your relationships a true expression of who you uniquely are? And Mercury enters Capricorn on the 16th, Venus enters Capricorn on the 10th, and then Uranus goes direct on the 21st. So this is good for intimate, you know, romantic relationship, creativity, creative self-expression. The sun enters Capricorn on the 21st. The moon enters Capricorn on the 21st. And then you have winter and summer solstice on the 21st. Winter in the northern hemisphere, summer for the lucky ducks in the southern hemisphere. And then the Capricorn new moon is on the 21st and the 22nd. Now this is all happening for you in your money your money house, your resource house. This is a wonderful new moon. Neptune is in harmony with it. Saturn is semi-sextiling it. Mars is semi-squaring it, but that's just giving it some energy. Mars is in Aquarius, which we talked about, harmonizes for you. This Capricorn new moon is at zero degrees, and there's been a pattern at the end of this year here where all the new moons are zero degrees. It started with the Scorpio new moon solar eclipse in October. That was at zero degrees. Then your new moon, which is a fabulous, juicy, good moon, in November, zero degrees. Now, the Capricorn new moon on solstice is at zero degrees. New moons are new beginnings. Zero degrees is a new life path, a new destiny. Something new is about to happen. It's the fool card in the tarot. You know, the guy carrying the sack who's, you know, all excited. He looks like he's about to step off the cliff because he's at the beginning and he's uplifted and hopeful and he hasn't faced any challenges yet. Yeah, he's a bit naive, but it's really exciting because you're at the new beginning of something. And this could be a new beginning for your values, what you love and value. It could be a new beginning in how you use your resources. It could be a new beginning that, that there's some sort of talent that you haven't been using that you're now going to start using, and it's going to make you money. It's going to bring you a new source of income. That's exciting. And what's also cool is, and I'll talk about this when I do the Sagittarius year ahead report, is um, all of the supermoons, which are the most powerful moons we can have, are new moons in 2015. So I think there's a cosmic message here from the universe is, don't wait, initiate, step up, take action, go for what you want. You know, uh, action speaks louder than complaining. Action speaks louder than suffering. Take action. And this is a good new moon. So this could be bringing new resources to you, new financial, new financial start for you. But again, if your strategies aren't working and you don't know what to do, you can hire a coach or you know, read books, get educated, get out there and, and see who's doing what you want to do and learn how they did it. 
it, it, you know, you, you, you need to find new strategies and new approaches if what you're doing is not working. Then the, the, the Saturn enters Sagittarius on the 23rd. So this is really powerful because you're going to have Saturn in your sign for the next two and a half years. So now Saturn is in Sagittarius and especially those born in the beginning of Sagittarius, those born on the 24th, the 25th, the 26th, the 27th, the 28th, you are going to be dancing with Saturn all of 2015 because Saturn gets up to about five degrees and then he retrogrades back and then he'll go direct and cross over. So it's like the tide. The tide comes in, the tide goes out, the tide comes in. So Saturn's coming in. So those late degree Scorpios and those early degree Sagittarius, you are going to feel Saturn the greatest. And I'm with you because my Mercury and Pluto are at one and two degrees for go. <laughs> so I get it two, three times. And so Saturn comes in and then Saturn will retrograde back. And I'll talk about that in the year ahead. So people born at the end of Scorpio, the last two days of Scorpio, and then the first five days of Sagittarius are, are going to be working with Saturn for three months. One month up, one month down, one month up, and then bam, Sagittarius flies forward next October 2015. Okay, so having Saturn in your own sign is about defining yourself. Who are you? Who are you now? Not who you've been, not who you were 30 years ago. When Saturn was in Scorpio, Saturn was asking for you to complete things. When Saturn was in Scorpio, it wasn't really time to start anything new unless it was something you've been doing. You know what I mean? Like you get a new job, but it's really in what you've been doing, you know, so it wasn't really new. Now you can change everything if you want. If you want to change professions, change professions. If you want to change, you know, do something completely different, you can do that. Um, however, the work really is on the inside right now. When Saturn is in your sign, Saturn is changing you from the inside out. It's very powerful. Saturn wants for you to live your life based on your own terms, not on who you think you're supposed to be, not on what society tells you you're supposed to be, but who you really are based on your soul. Your soul is who you uniquely are. If everyone was living from their soul self, we'd be in the golden age, there'd be abundance, for everyone and no wars. So Saturn is, is now in Sagittarius and this is about you defining yourself based on who you uniquely are, based on your soul self, your deep inner being of what you really are. Well, when Saturn gets to Capricorn, you'll be focusing on what you really are. But right now it's who are you? Not who you've been, not who you think you need to be, but who are you now with everything you've been through? Who are you today? So it's exciting. At times it can feel daunting because you have this heavy weight in your sign grooming you and you can have great success with Saturn in your sign, great fulfillment and more responsibility, right? So you get the promotion or you start your own business and it really starts to take off, or you've had a business and now it's really taken off, and you have less hours to just hang out and do nothing. You know what I mean? Like those days where you weren't doing anything, you're going to wish they were back. Because when Saturn's in your sign, Saturn really shows you what's working, and Saturn shows you what's not working. And I like that because it's clear boundaries. It's like, this is working, I'm doing this, this isn't working, I'm getting rid of this, okay? And so you're going to be doing an evaluation of all your relationships and not just intimate or professional, but the dentist you work with. I fired my dentist and got a new dentist and it was the best thing I could have done, you know. And so it, it really is about taking your time and evaluating all of your relationships. And if you're getting what you want, you know, like if your needs are being met and you're feeling fulfilled and you're feeling effective, you're on path. But if you're not feeling like the dentist is doing their job with you, don't waste your time because Saturn's showing you. And how do you know? You'll get that gut instinct, right? You'll feel awful. The body is the messenger. If your body is, is saying, I don't want to be here anymore, listen to that, you know? 
And if your body is saying something's not right, they're not telling you the truth, trust that. Trust your instincts. Trust your inner knowing. That's Saturn going, what are you doing with this? They're greedy. You know, you know, dentists can be greedy. People can be greedy. And, you know, we want, I love doctors. I want to empower them. And, and I always take care of my doctors. However, if you're greedy, I will fire you. And I'll have no problem with that. So, so this is what Saturn's going to do with you over the next couple of years. You're going to have an opportunity to evaluate your relationships. And if you're being taken advantage of, you're stepping over something, and you're being taken advantage of by your lawyer, your doctor, uh, your professor, whoever, you pay attention to that because that's your inner knowing. That's your inner Buddha, your inner Christed one. That is your holy Christ self telling you, hey, wake up here. Don't step over this. I'm showing this to you because they're out of alignment. And how are people going to change if we reward their bad behavior, right? If we don't challenge what they're saying to us. No one is the authority of your life. With Saturn in your own sign, you are the authority of your life. No one is the authority of your life. No one knows what's better for you than you. And your soul has your soul agreements. Your soul knows what's right for you. So Saturn is brilliant at defining boundaries. Saturn reveals how you are defining your reality. Are you owning your power or are you giving it away to other people who you think know better for you? No one's going to know what's right for you than you. Even when I work with clients, I'm here for your personal growth. I'm here to empower you. I'm here to champion you. But you are the authority of your life. I'm not the authority of your life. I'm a messenger. I'm a coach. I'm an astrologer. You are the authority of your life. You take what I say. If it resonates, keep it. If it doesn't, throw it away. And Saturn's going to empower you to do that. So no, Saturn's not like Jupiter, a party guy. You know what I mean? Saturn's the guy that shows up with a three-piece suit in the briefcase and says, okay, let's go through your checking account, fine tooth. I mean, you know, like, let's just, let's make sure, it's, you know. So it's not a, hey, let's party energy. However, Saturn will deliver you to your success. Saturn will watch your back, you see? When the so-called experts are supposed to be looking out for you, Saturn's looking out for you going, hey, something's not right here. You need a second opinion. Always get a second opinion. Um, whenever you get a diagnosis from a dentist or a doctor that doesn't feel right, doesn't seem right, get a second opinion. And that's Saturn. Saturn is saying, get a second opinion. Don't give your authority away. You are the authority of your life. Saturn is in your sign now. Own your power. Own your authority. So if you find like you're acting more like a Capricorn over the next couple of years, good. Because Capricorn rules achievement and success and financial security. And I know you would like some of those things. So it's a good thing. It's a wonderful thing. And you have a lot to celebrate. It's happy birthday time for you. And then, of course, as anything, everything starts moving into Capricorn, it you know, kicks up the Pluto-Uranus. And then you have uh, happy holidays or Merry Christmas if you celebrate that. New Year's Eve, uh, we end the year, Happy New Year, with the moon in Taurus. And that's a wonderful energy. It's a very comforting energy for you. Um, you may be thinking about your diet by then, or you may be out wanting to jog and exercise some of that delicious food that you had over the holidays, which is always a good thing. Because with Jupiter and Leo, it has a tendency to expand. So... Uh, the moon in Taurus wants to help you with that. But it looks really good and it's exciting. And I'll talk more about Saturn in uh, your sign because I'm doing the year ahead next and I'll have that out uh, first week in December. But it's a strong time for you. Relationships look good. Relationships look like they're heating up. Not so much for new love, although anything can happen. Just because I'm not seeing it doesn't mean it can't happen. Any, you know, love can happen anywhere, anytime. It's just the nature of love. It's more about you coming into your power and defining yourself and owning your authority at this time and using those talents and abilities to create greater wealth for yourself, greater success. It looks really good. So thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Thank you for liking, favoring, sharing, and Google Plusing my podcast, Sagittarius. It's so awesome.
Thank you for subscribing. You totally rock! And if you would like for me to take a detailed look at your solar return charts, your personal transits, what's coming up for you in 2015, it's very easy. You go to the link below in the show more section. It takes you to my astrology service page. You purchase your session. Upon checkout, you get the link to my schedule. You get scheduled. We're off and running, rocking and rolling. So until next time, Sagittarius, don't wait. Take action now. And happy birthday. I'm dancing on my own. I make the moves up as I go. And that's what they don't know. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's what they don't know. Mm hmm. But I keep cruising. I can't stop, won't stop grooving. It's like I've got this music in my mind saying it's gonna be alright. Cause the player's gonna play, 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 play. And the hater's gonna hate, 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 hate. So baby, I'm just gonna shake, 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 shake. I'll shake it off. I'll shake it off. Yeah, I'll shake it off. I'm dancing on my own. I make the moves up as I go. And that's what they don't know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what they don't know. Mm-hmm, but I keep cruising, can't stop, won't stop grooving. It's like I got this music in my mind saying it's gonna be alright.